Alrighty, so the challenge this week is to draw something that represents yourself. Now, I'm not an artist, but I'm going to do my best. And when you see this drawing, please do not laugh. Or if you do, don't tell me. Okay, so I just went back and watched the video I just made and realized that I did something really stupid. I apparently stopped filming while I was drawing my picture and then talked about my picture throughout my entire video. So uh, this is this is him. He is a little owl and I picked to do him because I went to a college prep course a few weeks ago and in my sociology class I learned that I am an owl in when it comes to problem solving I like to um, I, it's almost being a mediator, but not exactly. It's like I'd like to sit down with everyone, hear every single person's point of view, and even if my point of view isn't the right one, I'm going to pick the right one out of the group. And I'm getting an owl tattooed right here on my B-Day. Already. I don't feel as dumb anymore. There we go. Alrighty, so now that I've done that dorky yet clearly amazing drawing, I'm going to move on to this week's actual topic. Um, this week we are talking about bisexuality. The first question is, did you come out as bisexual to begin with and use it as like a gateway coming out? I did. I know a lot of people who did. I for one was, I don't know if it was, I don't know if I used it as a gateway. I just kind of thought I was bi. Like, I knew deep down I wasn't, but A, it made it easier on everyone else, I guess. So yeah, I guess I did. And B, I wasn't totally sure about myself. I am, for the most part. Yeah. I think I was only bi for like two months. <laughs> or, yeah, I pretty much just... I said I was bi, but I didn't really, I didn't really hook up with any guys or <laughs> flirt with guys. I just sort of didn't say I was a lesbian. Um, the next question is, how do you feel about bisexuals? I think there are a few different types of bisexuals. I think there are people who just and correct me if I'm wrong because I know some people like to label this differently but I think there are some people who just like people they fall in love with people this is also referred to as pansexuality or pansexual I'm not too sure if I can say it like this but whatever I think there are people who just love people who can find things in others that is amazing and the qualities are great and they're like I could love you it doesn't matter if you have tits or dick however there are some guys with tits <laughs> but you know what I mean and then I think there are girls who want to be bi like I don't mean they want they want to be bi I mean they want the attention that girls who kiss girls get but still with his boy. It's a little different. But those girls bother me a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> it's like... There's a type of girl who would never date a girl. But would have sex with her. Just because it makes them cool or attractive. It doesn't. It makes you a big hoe bag. <laughs> However, there are girls... And, okay, I'm only talking about girls, that's horrible. There's boys too who are bi because they really do find both genders attractive and amazing things in them, and I think that's great. I, I don't know how I feel about this, but I've heard this opinion before. I've heard that some people will never date a bisexual because they are paranoid that they'll, they'll never be enough. 
I've never dated a bisexual before. So I don't know if I'd feel that way. But if you're, I feel like if you're in a relationship, oh, did not realize that. If you're in a relationship, you should, um, you should trust the person enough to know that regardless of your gender, you're enough for them because they love you. So to the people who feel that way about bisexuals, I think they're just kind of insecure. <laughs> Actually, my mom and I made a joke about bisexual, yeah, it was really funny. Um, she's just like, we were talking about being gay, we do that a lot. <laughs> but um, she was like, I just don't understand bisexuals. And I'm like, I don't understand, what do you mean? And she's just like, well, how do you not know which one you're into? And I'm like, no, they know, they're just into both. And then she's just like, but I, like, how can you be into both? Like, they're completely opposite. And I'm like, maybe they're just greedy. And then we just laughed. And I don't really think bisexuals are greedy, but that's the kind of humor my mom and I share. Um, just thought I'd share that little tidbit with you. Uh, however, the last question is, would you date a bisexual? Probably. I wouldn't be like, hey, you're bi, let's date. I'd be like, hey, you're great. Oh, and you're bi, let's date. <laughs> anyway, yeah, actually, I have a lot of really close friends that are bisexual. And I don't think they're greedy at all. <laughs> I do think that they're adorable. But uh, keep in my head who that is. <laughs> Alrighty. I hope everyone else enjoys making their videos this week. 